Hi there guys, my name is Summit and today I shall be counting down my top 5 LEGO Super Mario sets from 2020. As a disclaimer, I do not own all of these sets. My opinions are formed on reviews I have seen and the products I do own and my overall thoughts of aesthetically looking at the set and thinking to myself, what do I think of these sets? This is my first top 5 video guys, so I hope you do enjoy this video. Without further ado, let's count down and sign in at number 5. So coming in at number 5 guys, we have the 71368 Toad's Treasure Hunt, which does contain 464 pieces and technically has two main characters being Toad and Toadette. And wow, this looks such a fun and interesting set. You have the three huts, which look really cool, especially the red one that looks back and central. It looks really cool. Then you've got the tree of the ground uh, with the grass um, cloud piece, which looks really cool. Then you get a Goomba and then you get those other red things. I'm not really sure what they are. You get the treasure then you get these like little hunt blocks that give you coins and overall I think it looks a really good set and I really hope to one day add it to the collection. And ironically, coming in at number three is to set one down from that, 71367 Mario's House and Yoshi. So this, this is the set that comes with Yoshi and you get Mario's House, which overall I think it's a nice little set. This is one I in fact do own. And it is a really good set. You get Yoshi, which is a really interesting build. You get Goomba, you get the little hammock, which is really unique, I'd say, and Mario's House, which he can't even fit in, which is just really funny. So overall, that is what I think. I think it's a really great set, guys. And even if you're not into Mario, I think fans will really like it to the fact it's just got Yoshi in it so overall I think that is that is my full favorite Lego Mario set and I think it is really awesome <laughs> So ironically, again, this um, at number three is the 71369, which is the one on from number five. And this is the Bowser's Castle boss battle. And what do I have to say? Aesthetically, this set is amazing. You've got the two turrets. You've got the big Bowser in the middle. And honestly, it looks great. You've got the bridge with that interesting feature. You've got like the one by six um, tiles. Sorry, the two by six smooth tiles, which look great. The detailing for the castle wall look amazing. It's a bit long, but I guess that is obviously it's still really awesome. And then you have Bowser who also equally looks really great and overall this set is amazing and I really cannot wait to add it to the collection it just is one of the best Mario sets in my opinion but not quite the best <laughs> And guys, if you couldn't already tell by the background that I generally have for my videos when reviewing sets, we have the 71361 character pack, the Mario series, or well, the Mario character packs. Wow. These were such a cool series, because these were kind of, I think, originally these are the only things I was going to get. I was like, hey, I want to get every kind of minifigure series. I still got tons of back and get, including Unikitty. But I was like, hey, I want to get these. I think these look really awesome. Get some new molds and some new pieces. And yeah, I thought they were really awesome. And then I just started getting them, and I was like, wow. These are really good M4. I believe £3.50 here in England. They are a, not, a bad, like, not a bad deal. They're a pretty good deal, I've got to admit there. They're not too expensive. They're decently affordable. And yeah, I think they're just really cool. You get some really cool prints and some really good elements. And they are all exclusive apart from bob -on, which I know there's been sort of a debate kind of thing going, saying he should have been maroon kind of red. But overall, apart from, like, doesn't really bother me, to be honest. Overall, I think this is a really incredible series. And I really hope that the news is real that we will be getting a new one next year. I will cover the Mario set list when we've got a proper one we've only got some possibilities but there should be another one coming out next year if it does i can't wait because this is an absolutely incredible series And coming in at number one, guys, some many of you may disagree with me, but it's the 71360 Adventures with Mario Sardicles. And yes, I know this is the only Sardicles, this is the Sardicles, guys, and it hasn't got the best build and all of that. But my main reason, guys, for this, as if you can see in the bottom right corner, is Mario. He is such an incredible piece of Lego. This time, I feel like they got it right. They've always tried to implement technology, but honestly, it's never gone that well. I think we've had Sirens in the last couple of years. We've had Hidden Side, but they've never quite worked. But this time, we've actually got a hybrid of the like of the in between, and it is an absolutely an amazing figure. Like I remember getting it. Like I was really a bit eerie about it at the beginning. I was like. Hmm, will I actually want Mario? Will I actually like it? I don't play with it that much and I don't use it. But when I do, sometimes I walk past and I just like test out its interactions. I just find it's really interesting. Just the way a Lego, basically, effectively, a Lego fig or a Digi fig can just interact with all of these colours and elements. And it doesn't have to be this. It could be a blue bed sheet, stuff like this. And overall, I just think it's great. You get the Goomba as well. And then you also get Bowser Jr. And also you get the um, starting pipe and the finishing flag, which would have been cool to get the red one beat 
together in the Guarded Fortress set, I believe. So yeah, it is overall, it is an absolutely amazing set, and I really do like the features. And yeah, Mario is just such an amazing one, and I really hope to see who we get next. Maybe we'll, we will be getting Luigi and Peach or whoever else, but overall, that, that is uh, my favourite set of the line because of Mario. It's absolutely amazing, and the start course is pretty awesome too. So there we have it guys, I hope you did enjoy this video, this, that was my top 5 Lego Mario sets at this point in time, I might do a video called top, my top 10 Lego Mario sets revised, because when I do get these sets, or if I get another set, I might be like, hey, I think this needs to change, there's it like, I think the only spot I can see changing would be number 5, I think that's the only thing that could potentially change, but it would be a really hard change, like a bit of a close one, but we will see you guys how it goes, but thank you guys for watching this video, what are your top 5 guys, leave them in the comment section, down below and um thank you guys for watching the video and i shall see you in tomorrow's video guys i'll see you there bye for now